I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this CCNA and CCNP five-minute practice exam on EIGRP. As always, with our five-minute practice exams, we're going to go through the questions at a pretty good clip, so feel free to pause the video for a moment or two if you need to to consider an answer. And in today's question, quiz, we'll actually have one bonus question. And at the end of the questions, I will not only give you the answers, but also show the answers to you whenever possible on real live Cisco routers and switches. So with today's topic being EIGRP, I think there's a pretty good chance we'll be able to see just a little bit of these answers on the pods. Now, questions one and two, name the reliable and unreliable EIGRP packet types. I'll give you a hint. We have five packet types overall we're looking at. Name reliable and unreliable packet types. Let's go on to question three. What can you see when you run the show IP EIGRP topology command? All right, let's go on to question four, and I'll scroll down a bit and give you a little extra answer here. Can you ever have multiple successors for successors excuse me for a single given route can you even have those and if so how all right let's go to question five you've injected ospf routes into an eigrpas with the redistribute ospf1 command what will the ad be of those redistributed routes in the eigrpas and I know that those of you working on the NA, route redistribution is not a topic on the exam, but this is a value you do need to know. And that gives you a little bit of a hint right there. And here's our 25-point bonus question. And if you actually get that reference, leave me a comment on YouTube. Uh, what will the routing table code of those redistributed routes be on any EIGRP router in the AS? What will that routing table code be? All right, let's head back to uh, questions one and two here. Name the reliable and unreliable EIGRP packet types. Hello packets are obviously very important, but they are considered unreliable as are acknowledgement packets. The reliable EIGRP packets are update, query, and reply. What can you see when you run the show IP EIGRP topology command? You will actually see successor and feasible successor routes whenever there are any. We do have that rare occasion where we have successors and no feasible successors, but uh, generally you will see both successor and feasible successor routes. That's what you can see. Question four, can you have multiple successors for a single given route? Yes, absolutely you can. C is the correct answer because you will see them by default if the metrics happen to be exactly the same. And let me bring up a live pod here for just a moment. And I want to run that command for you. We'll go up to router one. I've got a quick little EIGRP topology running here. And I wanted to show you that first off in answer to this question, yes, you can have multiple successors. And you can see we have two successors for this particular route. And that's because the metrics are exactly the same. Of course, that's not going to happen in the real world too often, which is why we need to use the variance command on occasion for unequal cost load balancing. Also notice that in this particular network, uh, we do not have any feasible successors for that network, but if we did, they would appear here as well. So keep that in mind with your topology table. You will see successors and feasible successors, and as you see, you can definitely have more than one successor for a given route. Question five, when you redistribute routes into EIGRP, they are considered external EIGRP routes and they're gonna have an administrative distance of 170. And for our 25 point bonus question today, the routing table code is going to be DEX. Now G and H, OE1 and OE2, those are valid codes, but that's if we redistribute routes into OSPF. 
That concludes this particular video practice exam. Again, I invite you out to the website, thebryantadvantage.com. On the tutorials page, over 300 videos, practice exams, fully illustrated tutorials, free webinars, all kinds of great stuff waiting for you there. And, of course, make sure to visit my YouTube channel as well. Thanks again. I appreciate your time and appreciate you watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.